So this question starts off by giving us this equation here. Um, it goes on to say, in the given equation, C is a constant, okay? So we know that's a number. The equation has exactly two distinct real solutions, right? We're going to come back to that because that's a huge hint on exactly how to answer this question. Which statement about the value of C must be true, right? So must be true. So what's, how is this a hint? Two distinct real solutions. So that phrase there typically only shows up when you are dealing with solving or simplifying or factoring, really, an equation using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula tells me that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? And this happens only in this scenario where you have where you have your quadratic equation equal to zero. Now, there's a portion of this equation, or a portion of this formula, the b squared minus 4ac, so b squared minus 4ac, that is called the discriminant. Honestly, the name of this doesn't matter as much on this test, at least. Um, but knowing that this whole two distinct real solutions or two distinct imaginary solutions, right, uh, is important here. So in order for you to have two distinct real solutions, the discriminant must be greater than zero. And hopefully that makes sense, right? If it were less than zero under a radical here, we'd end up with imaginary solutions, not real solutions. And if it equaled zero right, under the radical there, we'd actually end up with only a single solution for x, not two distinct solutions for x. So again, this is the key to knowing that this is exactly where we move forward with this. So b squared minus 4ac must be greater than zero. Well, what is b, right? So in this quadratic here, we have a, which is one, because there's like an imaginary one in front of here, B is 6, that's the second term, and then C, of course, is what we don't know. So B squared would turn into 6 squared minus 4. A is just 1, and then C stays as is, greater than 0. 6 squared is 36. This whole thing simplifies into 4C, greater than 0. I am going to subtract 36 from both sides here. Let's move this way for more space. And I'm going to end up with negative 4c is greater than negative 36. I'm going to simplify this further by dividing by negative 4 on both sides. Whenever you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the inequality symbol changes direction. So this becomes c is less than. Negative 36 divided by negative 4 is positive 9. c must be less than 9 in order for us to have two distinct real solutions. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice D.